I just finished an awesome, awesome workout. I got to tell you, the Soundcore Sport X10 are my favorite workout buddies. Let's get into this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Soundcore Sport X10 True Wireless Sport earbuds from the guys over at Soundcore. Now these are definitely your best, best buds when it comes to working out because of this hook design. And I biked with them for about four hours. They stayed in place. I've ran with them. They've stayed in place. I've lifted. They've stayed in place. And because these really fit super, super nicely and securely in my ears, I've actually reached for them more often than my other headphones. But let's get into some of the features that make the X10 super special and your best buds when it comes to working out. Number one, of course, is this hook design, but you also do get that IPX7 waterproof rating. And what that means is you can completely submerge these headphones in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. And they do have Soundcore's own sweat proof coating on them. And as someone who sweats a lot, I know you don't want to hear that, but if you're at the gym and you're working out, you're definitely sweating. You want to make sure that your headphones aren't going to get damaged because of, because of sweat getting inside of them. And this definitely is an awesome feature to have, especially on a workout pair of headphones. Body moving base, definitely 100% for sure. 32 hours of playtime, and I've got a lot of playtime on these headphones, but these are them, and they come in two colors. You have this kind of cream, white-ish type of color, and they also come in black, and they do have a nice, nice charging case with them, so it is USB-C, so that's definitely great to see USB-C of all things. And then on the front here, you can see if you press the little button, you can see your battery life right down there. Or of course, if you just open up the case, it's gonna let you know what your battery life is. No wireless charging, unfortunately, but the key thing to any wireless earbuds is the fit, and you want to ensure that these fit perfectly well. And thankfully, Soundcore do give you quite a number of earbuds here, so you do have an extra large, a large, a small, and an extra small. The ones that come preloaded, the ones that come pre-installed actually fit my ears really well, but make sure you get the perfect fit, otherwise noise canceling features and other features like that aren't gonna to work too well. And for charging, once again, USB-C. Now, they do give you a USB-C-A cable, the USB-C. I would have liked to have seen C to C, but it is what it is, not really a big deal. The big deal with these headphones is, of course, this hook design. And this is definitely super unique. This is something that I'm, I'm surprised it took this long to actually put on a workout headphone. This is just a super, super unique design. And you have 210 degrees of swivel action here, so you can get that perfect fit no matter how you wear these earbuds. And this is what they look like on your ear. So they look super nice. And once again, it's not about the look, but it's also about comfort. Wearing these for four hours straight on a bike ride, no discomfort. Really actually forgot that they were on my ears, other than the fact that I had music pumping through them. But they are super, super comfortable for long, long-term usage. And speaking of long-term usage, I did get, like I mentioned, four hours straight of battery life on these, and I still had about half battery life on these. So their claims of six hours with ANC on or eight hours with ANC off are definitely on point. I could see these lasting about, I'd say five, five hours if you really pump up the volume. Again, it depends on a whole bunch of factors. It depends on your volume level and whatnot. That's really gonna change that battery life. But I don't think most people are listening to, to headphones more than five or six hours anyway. So battery life for me has definitely been on point. Now another key feature of these, these headphones are they do have some controls. And I'm going to show you the app in just a little bit. But you do have some controls on the, on the actual bud here. So you don't, have, you don't have touch controls, which I would have liked to have seen. But that's just my own personal preference. I'm not really a super fan of these buttons. I think my fingers are quite large. My hands are quite large. And I actually found myself kind of fumbling to try and press this. So for me personally, I would have liked to have seen, I would have liked to have seen actual touch controls on the earbuds themselves. But some people might like it and some controls are better than no controls. And at this price point at under $100, I really didn't expect to see any type of touch controls on these earbuds. So overall guys, when it comes to design, I think they designed a super nice looking earbud and this hook is, this hook is really the selling feature for me when it comes to working out. As someone who's, who uses music at the gym every single day, I kind of struggled between the right earbuds. Other earbuds just kind of fell out of my ear all the time. And I constantly had to adjust them. And when you're there to do a workout, when you're there to run or you're there to bike, the last thing you want to do is completely fiddle with these earbuds. So these staying in place are the selling point for me. But another selling point for me is of course the sound quality because what good is an earbud if it stays in place but you really don't want to listen to any music that comes from it. Again, at sub hundred dollars, these are my favorite budget earphones at the moment. These are my favorite in terms of battery life, in terms of sound quality, in terms of staying fit, 
In terms of all, all of the overall features that Soundcore give you, and they're all built into this application, and Soundcore is one of the best apps in the business, they really give you a whole bunch of controls. So just taking a look at the application itself, guys, you get to see, you get to see your nice earbuds. So here are my earbuds right here. You also see your battery life right over there. And they do have some, some function built into them. If you're a runner, they do have this breathe application that's really going to help you, help you with your breathing before and after a run. You can also use it to relax. So it's going to pump some relaxing music through your earbuds and kind of help you, kind of help you with your decompression, maybe after a long day at work or maybe... Maybe you just want to sit down and relax. This is kind of a nice way to kind of do that. But when it comes to music, that's what I do with headphones. I listen to music all the time. And you can see my default is electronic. I'm at the gym. I'm pumping that EDM. I'm pu pumping that old school house music. I'm pumping that Biggie, pumping that Nas, pumping that Tupac. I'm pumping all type of music that should have a lot of bass that really gets your heart going, that really gets you motivated to lift that extra extra rep. And that's when it comes down to bass. I want a bass heavy, not super, super bass heavy where I can hear the vocals or the mids, but I want to hear that thumping bass when I'm working out. And Soundcore is definitely those earbuds for you. They give you a lot of nice bass. Again, make sure to choose the correct ear tip and this way you're going to get that perfect fit that's really going to really going to let you hear your music about 22 different presets here so you can go through and you can choose whatever type of preset you want i'm usually in this range i'm usually in the dance the electronic and the hip-hop range and you do have a bass up feature that's really going to pump some extra bass but once again you don't want some some skull candy bass crushing type of bass that you're not going to be able to hear vocals because again a lot of people get into the music for the lyrics and, and that's how it should be so highs came in really nicely. The mids were really nice. I'd say overall, this is a really nice sound stage and it impressed me at this price point. Again, at $79, check my link down below. I don't think you can beat these headphones. I've been really happy once again, listening to all types of music. Even when I wasn't at the gym, I listened to a little jazz, a little classical, just to kind of see how it was. And it did a nice job. Again, it's not going to match up to anything above 150 or so. So it's not going to match up to their Liberty Pro 3s. But it does a really nice job with this price point and again at the gym which is where you're primarily going to use these earbuds or commuting if you're running to catch that train you don't want to pop out an earbud these are going to be really nice for you you also do have a custom eq so if you wanted to go in and kind of set up your own custom your own custom eq and, and get this to sound perfectly the way you want it to sound with the genre of music you can i think most people are going to stay within these default default signature eqs I think they do a nice job once again with Soundcore. Feature that I really like on these $79 pair of headphones. Again, keep in mind, these are a budget headphone. We do get noise cancellation, so it is in beta right now. I don't know if that means because it's half baked and Soundcore is not really working on it or if they're actually working on it and it's gonna come out of beta, only time will tell. But I, I think it does a decent job again at this price point. It does a nice job at the gym. Once again, it's all about this fit. It's all about getting the earbud that fits your ear channel. That's, that's what it's all about, because if you don't get this right tip, it's definitely, it's definitely not going to block anything out, and music's not going to sound that great either. But it does a nice job of blocking out that terrible music that they always pump through at the gym that you don't want to listen to. It gets rid of people grunting, it gets, pe it gets rid of all that background noise at the gym. Now on transportation, it didn't really do all that well, to be honest with you. If you're on the train, it, it tries to do a nice job, does, does kind of diminish it a little bit but overall it's not the noise cancelling features that you get on higher end higher end earbuds are actually over the ear earphones but i think it does a good job again for its purpose at the gym working out walking through the streets it does a nice job just don't expect it to block out every single thing around you of course you can leave it in normal or transparency mode which is also in beta which means that if someone's talking to you your music's still going to play, but you're going to be able to hear hear what they're saying. So that's a nice feature as well. Now, I did mention that we do have these controls on the top of the earbuds that I really couldn't use because I, I, I just wasn't able to really press it and find it when this was in my ear. But they do have some features to them. So I, I like that, that they have some features built in so you can increase or lower the volume. If you press twice, you can go to the next track, you can play or pause, and of course you can switch whatever a single press or a double press mode will do. And if you hold on them, you're going to get that ambient sound that's going to rotate between normal cancellation and transparency. So that's a nice feature, but again, being honest, full transparency, I wasn't too comfortable with these buttons. They kind of were a little bit, little bit stiff to press in my opinion when I did find them and it was just more trouble than it was worth. So I actually don't use those buttons. I would have liked to have seen maybe a flat, longer button on the top. I think that would have made a lot more sense for people when you're working out. You're not trying to, you're not trying to fumble and find this tiny little button. 
If they had a flat button all on the top here that you could press any which way, that would be a nice addition for version two. But touch controls are there. Maybe you have smaller fingers or you're just able to use them. I'm happy to see touch controls regardless. So overall, I think Soundcore does a nice job with their app. And of course, with Bluetooth 5.2, you're gonna get that nice strong connection. And I was able to walk around the gym, leaving my phone at a, at a bench and walk around, fill up my water. And I still had a really nice connection, even about 40 feet away. There is no Aptex, no Aptex HD or LDAX. Again, this is a budget friendly, even though it sounds like it should be more than $79. These are only $79. These are an excellent sounding headphones and I think you're really gonna like them. Another feature that you guys might be interested in is maybe taking a phone call from time to time. That might be, that might be something on your radar. So this does have six microphones in it. Somewhere along this place, there's six microphones and that's gonna be able to kind of block out some noise. So take a listen to the voice call quality, indoor, outdoor, vlogging. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. So now maybe you want to do a little vlogging with the X10s as well. You're not working out. Then you want to record some video with some audio. This is what the quality is going to sound like of the microphones. Give you a little tour of Times Square. A lot going on here. So hopefully this microphone is picking my voice up versus all the other performers out there. Such as Lady Liberty. Let's see if we can catch her. There's Lady Liberty right behind me. So sometimes you might want to take a phone call as well. A little construction going on behind me. I'm walking through Times Square at the moment. And this is what the sound call quality is going to sound like. So if you happen to get a phone call while you're walking about, this is sound call quality. Let me know how the microphones are doing and picking up my voice versus all the surrounding noise. Now let's go to the inboard test. This is gonna be the indoor test, so let me know what you think about the microphone quality overall. How's the indoor, how's the outdoor, how's the blogging quality of these microphones? I personally can hear everybody just fine. I, I don't get a lot of wind noise coming back to these headphones either. So in terms of my listening enjoyment, these sound pretty good, but I wanna know what I sound like on the other end as well. Let me know about the microphone quality down in the comments below. This has been my review of the Soundcore Sport X10. I was really, really surprised with these headphones, to be quite honest. I did not think I'd like them as much. I thought they would just be my workout buddy, and then I kind of put them aside and switched to other headphones when, when I went out and stuff. But I'm actually using these as my daily. I think they're that good, and especially at this price point, you really can't beat them. I think these are an excellent, excellent value. Again, version two, I'd like to see a flatter button on the top, an elongated button that's just easier to press. Maybe wireless charging. I do have wireless charging pads all over and it would just be super simple to just place this, place this on the pad and charge it up. But I don't really need to charge it up all that often, so that's not really a huge, huge deal. But let me know what you think about them. How's the sound quality? What do you think of the design? This is just ingenious, super, super comfortable. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in another video.